Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at set number 76036, Carnage's Shield Sky Attack. As you can see right here, here's the, the vehicle that you get for the set, which is for one of the shield agents. And as the shooters right here, so you push the button down. And push it again. Which isn't too bad, but... You run the risk of losing the pieces if you shoot it in an open space. It has printed, uh, printed pieces here, so you don't have to worry about no stickers. But you have to put a sticker here, and a sticker here. They have a gun hidden right here. And the other side of you here, you have handcuffs. If you open up this here, you can see controls. And if you open up the safe, you got some more pegs. The wings do pivot, so you can have it like this. You know, kind of like that. Or get it the way you want it to. Now to start off to look with the minifigures, we're just going to take a look at the shield agent here. You can see he has a smile on his face, nice printed outfit, a regular kind of aviator helmet, and blue pants with a white belt. You see on the sides of the character, no printing, but on the back of him, you got some back printing. He also has a double face, so if you can take the helmet off, you can see his other head, his other face as well. And there's the second face there, which is more of a surprise shock kind of face. To me, this is an okay minifigure, but it's really not my favorite. It would have been... To me, this isn't my favorite minifigure, but it would have been nicer if they had included a hairpiece. So it could look more like a regular shield agent. But as of right now, it's okay. You can use, you know, as a Lego, you can just take the helmet off, put a hairpiece on it if you want, but for now, it's not too bad, not too good, but it's an alright character. And here we are with minifigure number two, which is going to be Spider-Man, and I believe this is, it's the Miles version of him, so here he is, all mainly black with some red detailing, red gloves, and the red, the, uh, the white eyes for the Spider-Man out for the mask. You can see up close. The detailing on his body is really nice. You can see the muscles, the Spider-Man Spider -Man emblem, and all the weapon kind of look. So it looks pretty good. On the back side of it, more webbing on the back of the head, and the spider emblem on the back with some spider webbing on the shoulders as well. So it overall looks pretty nice. Yeah, so overall this is a pretty nice looking character. So far for me, this is the only Spider-Man toy that I have, so I like it more than I should probably would normally. Because normally I like the regular, you know, red and blue Spider-Man, but since this is the only Spider-Man I have, I like it a lot. And here we are with minifigure number three. This is going to be the main reason people buy this set is because it's a cheap set and you get Carnage. Which, is the, if I'm not mistaken, is the first time it's showing up in the LEGO line, so... You think it might be pretty popular since, again, it's cheap and you get the first version of Carnage, which, as you see here, looks really nice. So I'm going to zoom in. Really nice looking printing on the face. The sharp little teeth. All the, you know, just the nasty looking strong muscles on his body. Printing on, printing on the legs. And on the side of the arms, you have... Some more printing here as well. So it's pretty nice that they actually did a little extra printing on the sides. On the back of him. You can kind of see it here. A little bit harder because it's kind of dark. But he does have some printing on the back. More of that slimy kind of red carnage kind of look to it. 
as well in the back of the head. So it's really nice that they have this kind of stuff. Nice little details they have on, on the minifigure. So overall, the Carnage minifigure is going to be the best one of the set. It's my now, one last thing about this minifigure. He does come with an extra accessory that connects to his back of his... It connects to the neck joint, which connects to the back. And if you see, you add extra uh, Carnage tentacles. You see he has four here. He also comes with a, a fifth one that you can put in his hand. So it's like he's shooting out a weapon or something. But it's pretty nice that they added a little detail. I know the Venom from the Junior line has, has this kind of set as well. On the back of it, and there you go right there. That's how they connect to the, how they connect to the body. So it's a pretty neat little piece that they have that allows it to, you know, have the tendril, tendrils hanging around. We can also move them like that as well, like kind of like a propeller if you wanted to. So that's pretty much it for the set. The only other thing it comes with is the new super jumper things they have, where you put your minifigure feet here. Can't really see it on the camera, but put them on there, you push it down on the back, and then you fling it, and it pretty much sends the character to go flying. I've heard that it does have a chance to mess up your minifigures on the legs, like stressing out the joints here. You know how they has, how they get the white stress marks. I've heard that, and I've seen some people with that. And my nephew kind of had that a little bit on one of his, I believe, Iron Man toys. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I won't be putting it on there. Put one of my minifigures on there because I don't want to mess them up. As well as my nephew also had, I think it was Iron Man again. He put him on there and we couldn't get him off. It was just like stuck really tight on her. So, if you want to play with these, go ahead, play with them if you want. That's what they're there for. But just be a little cautious that you could potentially mess up your minifigures. Alright, guys, so my final thoughts on this set. Overall, I'd say it's pretty good. It's like $12, $13 at Toys R Us. So it's going to be pretty much the same price because it's such a small set. They're really not going to upcharge it all that much. So it's really cheap. You get a nice looking Spider-Man figure. And you get Carnage with extra little accessories here. So overall it's pretty neat. You get a nice little, nice little vehicle. Three minifigures. And the Super Jumper if you end up using it. But overall it's a good value. I really like the set a lot. As soon as I saw it I had to, go, had to buy it. It was... Pretty much a no-brainer. So yeah, if you guys see this set around, definitely pick it up if you feel like it. So this is Sniper33 and my little partner, Little Peanut, taking off for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative, and hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you around. Yeah, bye. Not a little peanut.